Nosebleeds can be very common for kids. They may have one or many during their early years. Now, look, nosebleeds may be normal, but they can also cause some worry for a parent. So what do parents need to know and what do they need to do and not do? Here with some answers, Dr. Gigi Chow, the Chief of General Pediatrics at Children's Minnesota. Great to see you as always. Well, it's good to be back. Mm -hmm. Can you walk through some of the maybe the common causes? Like, what, what, why do kids experience nose diseases? Yeah, well, probably the most common reason is what we would all suspect, which is that those little fingers get into those little mm -hmm. nostrils and they pick away and they do it while they're not even thinking or they're not even noticing and suddenly they've abraded themselves enough that they have a nosebleed. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, so that's probably the most common, mm -hmm. um, but certainly other things can cause it. Just dry air, changes yeah. in the air, the air conditioning or winter really drying things out. Um, when you have a cold, you're creating a lot more irritation just with all of the mucus that you're making mm -hmm. and that can make the surface very irritated in general that can cause bleeding and so can allergies. Mm. Of course, injury and such for right. kids too. You get bonked in yeah. the nose. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, what should you do if you get a nosebleed? Because I've always heard you should like pinch, pinch the tip and, and put your back head now. back, but what should you actually do? Yeah, well, first of all, it's really scary when you have a nosebleed and so- It's a lot of blood. There's a <laughs> lot of blood, it's everywhere <laughs> and families, you know, um, can, can honestly get a little bit flustered with what should you do. So really good conversation. I think the, the first instinct that people have is, oh, let's put something up there or tip your head back or lay down. And those are actually all the things you don't want mm -hmm. to do. Really? You don't, you want to pinch at the soft part of the nose. Right here, okay. Uh -huh. Between your, your forefinger mm -hmm. and your thumb. Yeah. Enough to, you know, close the nasal passages and stop the bleeding. Right. And hold it for 10 minutes without releasing your fingers and checking. Right. Ha, ha, ha. Ten minutes. Ten ha, minutes. That's a long time. It is Gigi, set, are you insane? Set yourself, <laughs> I am about this. Set okay. yourself a timer, but it is 10 minutes. That is a real time. Really it feels long 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 long. Yeah. It feels like forever. Because it is. Because it is. And they're yelling at you. And, they're, and there's still blood <laughs> it everywhere. Stop, it won't stop, And yeah. there's still blood everywhere, yeah. and your hands there's are a mess. Massacre but in my bathroom. <laughs> It's so true. Speaking from experience. Yeah, it <laughs> but it will take 10 minutes to stop that bleeding. Okay. Whoa. If you release your fingers and it's still bleeding, you pinch again for another 10 minutes. So if you Don't stop, look. you gotta start again. You gotta start again. Okay, okay, so then what do parents not do in these situations? Do not tip heads back. Yeah. Like I Don't back. panic either, yeah. right? Because kids are gonna choke on the on the blood that's yeah. going back. It'll get into their stomach and makes them feel really, really nauseated yeah. and they're gonna throw up. Mm -hmm. So be, be neutral position or mm -hmm. lean forward, pinch the nose, do those 10 minutes of stopping the bleeding. If at that time you're really seeing this being a pattern, mm -hmm. you need to go into your doc because maybe there's a little blood vessel that's close to the surface that they and need they to manage. Can, correct me if I'm wrong, they can cauterize it. I remember, because we've, we have a nose bleeder, yeah. and I remember the bleeder. doctor yeah. saying, <laughs> we're gonna cauterize it. I was like, whoa! Excuse me? Hold oh, up, no. hold on. I don't know about that. Oh, it's it's super easy. Is it? It's okay. It's really, really painless, and it Ooh. is. Doesn't it, it sound terrible? Yeah, it, it sounds, sounds terrible. terrible. No, it isn't <laughs> terrible. It's not terrible. Done right in the office. Okay, yeah. because here's my, the thing with my daughter, and I don't think she's a nose picker because I haven't seen it, but like she'll get them at nighttime while she's sleeping, and, and she'll, mom, I had a nosebleed in school again today, mm -hmm. and I'm wondering, like, at what point do you just say, okay, honey, yeah. we got to go in? If it's a repeated pattern, you know, she's not having allergies right. or things like that, that you're you're missing that, that opportunity to treat. Mm -hmm. But if she's having repeated nosebleeds, mm -hmm. then it's time to go in. Humidifier, would that help? It might, yeah. yeah. It can't We've hurt. tried that, but well. still, okay. See, this is why Dr. Gigi's here. <laughs> Dr. Gigi, as always, personal advice. <laughs> we appreciate you. <laughs> Thank you.